Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So I'll get straight to the point. Having an impressive GitHub profile can enhance your chances of getting an opportunity in 2025. Why do I say that? So nowadays everyone is active on the local job portals. Candidates also started building their LinkedIn profiles. So it is getting tougher for the recruiters to identify the right candidates. So recruiters started looking out for people who can showcase their real-time work experience through GitHub. Now, of course, candidates cannot show that experience through local job portals. Candidates can update their experience on tool, technology, but cannot actually justify it. This can be done to some extent on LinkedIn. Candidates can write posts about their experience, write posts about the challenges that they have faced, how did they overcome the challenges, the architecture design that they have taken. So LinkedIn still works in 2025 and great recruitment happens through LinkedIn in 2025. Having a GitHub profile is an added advantage. It can set up an edge over the other candidates. Now the big question is how to set up an impressive GitHub profile. Lot of people assume. So whenever I talk about GitHub, candidates assume it is only about open source. Definitely open source can help, but what about non-coders? People from DevOps, SRE or data engineering, they are actually not from coding background. So they have very less repositories to contribute to. So when it comes to non-coders, they can build an impressive profile by setting up repositories that can showcase their real-time work experience or that can showcase the experience that they have got from hobby projects, proof of concepts, YouTube tutorials, anything that they have learned. In today's video, I will talk about non-coders point of view. So I will explain how non-coders can set up these repositories. Now these are the real repositories. Some of these repositories are related to my YouTube tutorials. A lot of our subscribers actually have taken the reference of these repositories and they were able to secure an opportunity in 2025. So I'll talk about some of these repositories. You can go through the entire profile. I'll put the link in the description. First one is a very simple repository. Imagine you have added a point in the resume stating you have experience in containerizing Monstack application. Now you can justify this work by setting up a repository like this. Go to any AI agent today. You can go to bold.new, you can go to Cloud Code, you can even go to GitHub Spark and ask it to create a demo Monstack application. I have done the same thing. I got a demo Monstack application with front end and back end. I made sure this is running locally and then I have containerized this application. So I have created a readme file for it. And in the readme file, I explain how to set up a Docker network, how to build this application using Docker, how to run the containers locally. And because when it comes to Monstack, there is more than one application or there is one, more than one service. So I explained how to run both the application and the MongoDB container through Docker Compose. Now, this can justify your work whenever interviewer looks at this repository. So interviewers gets an understanding that you have worked on containerizing this application. So your interview can go in this direction or your interviewer can ask you, can you talk about more about this? What challenges you have faced? You can talk about this experience. Let's go to a little complicated one or let's go to a little complex one. So you can also set up repositories about infrastructure as code. So usually when you say you have experience on infrastructure as code, there is no actual proof for the interviewers to believe what you have done. So you can talk about Terraform in it, you can talk about Terraform apply, but talking about challenges becomes difficult. So you can set up a repository, something like this, where, you know, I have one repository here where I have showcased how did I install EKS cluster in the modular approach using Terraform. So this has everything. 
like the modular approach terraform backend that is using s3 bucket on aws the code for invoking the modules in the main.tf variables input output you can ignore the terraform state file i don't have anything sensitive so i left the terraform state file but it's a good practice to skip the terraform state file as well so this way you can justify your experience even with respect to infrastructure as code now imagine if you don't have this github repositories you can talk about experience you can talk about challenges that you have faced but interviewers might or might not believe you but when they look at these github repositories at least they will have an additional point to trust you stating you have done something and looking at the pull requests your commits github comes with a version history so they can look at your commits they can understand okay initially you failed implementing it then in the next step you updated the main.tf in the next step you updated the variables and eventually you were successful in setting up eks cluster using terraform so this also gives you a version history and that helps the interviewers personally when i was recruiting at red hat i have gone through a lot of candidates github repositories as an interviewer i find it very useful and as candidates they also find it very useful so this way you can also set up repositories related to infrastructure as code if you are from data engineering background you can set up repositories for your python code you can set up repositories for your database the data that you have uh, filtered right you can do all that through the repositories as well moreover you know even when it comes to freelancing so personally i showcase these repositories because these repositories are very popular some of these repositories have a very clear documentation so when i look for my linkedin clients when i look for some uh, paid collaborations i also showcase my github profile and it uh, also help me to become github star now all of these things are secondary but the primary thing is to focus on building github repositories and showcase your real time work experience through the repositories if you are a fresher this is a significant advantage because freshers don't have project experience freshers don't some of the freshers might not even have internship experience so this one can greatly help the interviewers i hope you found this video interesting and informative you can go through other repositories i have 77 repositories you know with the interest of time i only explain few repositories here in the video but later you can go through my github profile i'll put the link in the description and you can understand how you can also build an impressive profile see you all in the next video take care bye one